welcome back to the channel. So we've heard a lot of people say that Florida can be rough in the winter, and it certainly can, definitely in Southern Florida too. But we're gonna show you hopefully a spot today that is not only free, but we can just pull in and get a spot on some public lands. So right now I am getting us all filled with fresh water, emptying our gray. That way we can uh, take a shower tonight and have a good time out on some public lands. Our fresh water tank is full and our gray tank is empty. Let's go. <laughs> Well, <laughs> this sucks, it was a fail. And this place is amazing. It's amazing. Uh, I Overlander, reviews from last year, not this year, so we're gonna have to update it so everybody knows. But this beautiful spot, you see behind us, there's like four, four campgrounds, trash, porta potties, everything. It's called Escribano Recreational Area, and this is the Bayou Bayside site and free camping to recreation is what it was supposed to be and look at this you're right here on the water but all signs around here say no camping so we're gonna have to uh figure out a plan b So we made it to plan B <laughs> camping spot, which is actually at a boat ramp area that's literally just outside Blackwater River State Park. So we are parked, you can see behind me. We can camp here, but we're actually gonna go for a walk because there's a dirt road over here that also has some campsites on I Overlander. And we want to see if we can make it over there so we could have, you know, a little more woodsy, private, scenic spot. So let's go check that out. A little bit of a uh, pothole here. <laughs> Hmm. I don't know if we can get it down that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't think we're doing this one. This is uh, some pretty deep potholes and puddles and yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's a smart idea. It'll we'll probably sink right in. Well, I guess we're staying where we are tonight. That's always a bummer, but uh, it'd be even more of a bummer if we got stuck in the middle of the woods somewhere. So we're going to walk back, make some late lunch, and uh, yeah, go from there. All right, so tonight for dinner, we decided to just cook dinner. We've got asparagus and cheddar stuffed chicken breast, courtesy of Target, actually, which we were pretty surprised by. Smells good, looks good, so we're just going to pop them in our little ninja oven that we have, and we'll see how it turns out. Thank you. 
And just for reference, I don't know if you can see that right there, but it's pulling uh, 0.8 kilowatt, so 800 watts of power right now is what this Ninja 5-in-1 is pulling. And there it is. Some mashed potatoes and some chicken stuffed with cheddar and asparagus. Well, we're going to enjoy this and we actually got the projector on so we'll be uh, probably watching an episode of something. We got to find something new to watch. We finished uh, all our shows pretty much. So <laughs> got to figure that out. But we're going to enjoy this and uh, maybe catch up with you a little bit later tonight or we'll see you guys in the morning. So while we're here at home base, I'm getting a few things installed that we received for Christmas. So thanks to uh, our parents for hooking us up. <laughs> so right now I am getting the old window frames, screen, blackout shade removed to install the van made gear window coverings. So if you're not familiar with the windows that are in an Echo or some other units. Uh, we have the awning style European windows, which are great, but the stock screen uh, blackout shade combo is not the greatest. No CMs, little bugs like that can get through the screens. They don't reflect the heat too well. And honestly, they're not truly like blackout. So we received the van made gear uh, window coverings for the uh, let's see front dinette area and the back of the bed area so three windows one down two more to go So we are back at our temporary home base over here in the Panhandle, Florida. As you saw, we installed those van-made shades around the rig in the bedroom area and in the dinette area. And now we are working on a project because our little cat has destroyed the wallpaper that we put on our cupboards, if you remember. So I've already started taking this one apart right here. But as you can see, these things are pretty torn up from him clawing at it. Uh, when we go to feed him, he puts his claws up here and pulls down. Plus, we didn't do these properly. We should have done what I'm doing now and taken these drawer fronts off and wrapped it around. But we were being lazy trying to do it the easy way. The ones up on the upper cabinets have held out great and look phenomenal. So we're going to leave those over here too but install this peel and stick wallpaper in a different color. So our tops are gonna still be this kind of ocean, tropical blue, whatever, Carolina blue, I guess you call it, sky blue, I don't know. But uh, we're gonna have a different color on the lower ones. It's gonna look cool, kind of give it a unique uh, contrast. And don't mind the mess because we're cleaning up and then I got tools and everything out of the cabinet up here. But the color we're going with down here is gonna look really good eventually when we replace these countertops. That is the goal, to eventually put a, a probably a butcher block countertop or something similar up here. So I'm not gonna walk you through putting on the peel and stick wallpaper. In previous videos we showed it, pretty simple. You literally peel and stick. <laughs> uh, but I'll show you the final product here shortly. Well, look at that. There we go. They are done. So as you can see, it's a black with kind of a texture in it. And Bjorn's trying to have me <laughs> pet him now. <laughs> Hi, buddy. You want to be in it too? <laughs> but it looks pretty good. So that probably took like an hour and a half or so. An hour. Pretty simple. You know, to do all of them probably take you a couple of hours. But you just take the handles off, two screws. Bottom drawers were two screws. The, uh, below the sink, 
below the oven, four screws, so, you know, pretty simple, pretty easy to do. But we have a few more projects, so let's get to them. About to leave, already packing, come with me, I'm not really asking.